everyone JP here if you don't already know me I'm a coach speaker and author I have been for most of my adult life I'm just here in the office and I wanted to share a quick story with you and then a strategy that I have used in my life that I will share in the story that has massively changed my life and it continues to do so again and again and again there's been a few pivotal moments in my life two of which have been just recently when I was in a near-death accident. The one before that was when I was 23 years old, <coughs> many years ago. And I reached what I thought, and what I felt and believed was the rock bottom of my life. And in both of these moments, there's four things that allowed me to, in the middle of that challenge, to really get the most out of myself, to be able to thrive through my adversity and for me to take my challenge at the time head on. Now, let me just share with you a bit about my story if you don't already know it. When I was 23 years old, I hit rock bottom after getting life too wrong for far too long. I was a DJ at the time, I thought I was a rock star, but at New Year's Eve in Riga, Latvia, when I was DJing, I lived a life of toxicity and hedonism, especially that night and the next morning, I had gone from rock star to rock bottom. At the age of 23, it was then that I decided that I didn't want to go down this path. I didn't want to get my life wrong anymore. And I had this moment of awareness that, hey, if I can get life wrong, surely I can get life right. It's just a new direction. It's not something made up. I'm already heading in a direction. I just want to go in a new direction. So. I made a change. I went back to the UK. I spoke to a friend of mine who was a coach and I started making changes to my life by changing my thoughts, by changing the people in my life, by changing my habits, how I was showing up in the world. I started to change a lot of things. And what happened was I changed. You see, if you want your life to change, you've got to change. It doesn't matter what level you're at, who you are, where you are, who you've got around you, what you see in front of you and what you feel inside yourself. Wherever you are, whoever you are, if you want your life to change, the change starts with you. And I started going to work on myself. I started to learn how to master myself. And for the last 18 years, I have been a dedicated, disciplined student and disciple of self-mastery. And because I've found the tools that I can use over and over again in my life, my life just keeps getting better and better and better. But like I shared before, life is not just about, or let me go back actually, life is not just about happy, 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 or having everything go perfectly, because that's not life, it's not reality. But it's about being able to get the most out of every moment and find your happiness, even in your darkest, deepest valleys. So when I was 23 years old, what helped me change my life then and there was four things. And then many years later, last year, when I was cycling across the UK for charity and hit head on by a drunk driver, thrown across the road, bike smashed to pieces, my body broken in pieces, spending two weeks in intensive care and almost losing the one thing that I have and you have for life, which is your life. You only get one chance and I almost lost that chance. But in my recovery, I was able to rely on the same tools that I had been building up over the last 17, 18 years. Those same tools that when I started to change my life at 23 and it didn't come overnight, but I found the tools that worked. And when I found the tools that worked, I used them over and over and over again. So from 23 years old, all the way up to 37, 38 years old, I was using the same tools. Now, don't get me wrong, my toolbox gets heavier every year because I'm more of a student than I am a teacher. I'm always learning, I'm always growing, I'm always immersing myself in change, in different energy, in higher energy. I'm always immersing myself in spiritual mastery, spiritual fitness, I'm always looking to become more. But the foundation of my toolbox has been paying attention to four different areas of my life. And that's my focus, my fuel, my fitness, and my function. Let me explain, explain very briefly. When I was 23 years old, there's certain things that I needed to change for me to change. And in hindsight, looking back, it's always been those four things. 
wherever I'm going to be for the rest of my life, I know I can rely on these four things and these four aspects of my life because they've worked over and over again. The number one thing was focus. What I choose to focus on, what I allow into my thoughts, what I allow into my mind, what I allow into my feelings. Now, for this video, I can't go deep into it and break it down, but let me just say, the first step to changing anything in your life is mental mastery. So simply put, it's focus. What meaning are you giving what you're going through? Or what meaning are you giving through what you're going, giving what you're going through in a way that it's not serving you? The people around you, what are they bringing to you energetically that is allowing you to feed your mind in the right way? What are you focusing on? You're focusing on what you're grateful for or what's missing from your life, on what you can do or what you can't do. There's so many different things that I can say about focus. And I've been teaching mindset for, like I said, almost two decades. The next thing that I've been doing over and over again is, remember what number one is focus, number two is fuel. Taking care of what I consume, not just food not just water, but breath and thoughts, taking care and paying attention or being aware of everything that I'm consuming and even what people want to give me. Tony Robbins often says, stand guard at the door of your mind. Right? Always stand guard and, and ask yourself, is this thing that I'm about to consume, is it taking me forward? Is it allowing me to master myself or is it pulling me back? Is it destroying myself? Am I destroying myself by not having a boundary up in this area? You want to be able to say, whoa, 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 that is not fuel for me. Don't speak like that or don't speak like that to me. That's not serving me. It's not filling me up. It's not giving me energy. And the same goes for breath. Is the breath that you're taking right now, is it filling you up, serving you, giving you energy? Maybe you're stressed out, maybe you're overwhelmed right now, but breath is the center of everything. So I want you to just try this. Whilst you're watching this video, just take a few deep breaths. Again, two more. All the way and as much as you can. And breathe out. How does that feel? If that gives you more energy, pay attention to what you've just done. That, my friends, is a strategy right there for a better life. Because everything is energy and energy is everything. So what fuel are you consuming and what are you allowing yourself to consume, including the breath you take, the food you eat, the water and the liquids you drink, and the thoughts that you're having as a result of what information is coming your way. The news, mainstream media news, is fuel. You're taking it in, you're consuming it. My question for you is this, does it serve you? Does it inspire you? Does it give you energy? Now, when it comes to self-mastery and life mastery, like I said before, everything is energy. So everything in our life as the decision maker of our life as adults or grown-ups, should I say, our responsibility and our choices should be based on what gives us energy. So when you're looking at focus, focus on what gives you energy. When you look at fuel, fuel yourself with what gives you energy. And then when it comes to the next of the four aspects of your life, focus, fuel. The next one is fitness. Move in a way that it gives you energy. It's not rocket science. Fitness gives you energy. Fitness doesn't just give you energy. It gives you passion. It gives you purpose. It gives you enthusiasm. It, it gives you gratitude because you, if you're outside working out, you're connecting with nature and with God and Mother Earth and Father Sky. You're connecting to something greater than yourself. So you get out of yourself and you get into God, whatever your beliefs are around the word God. Fitness gives you certainty. In life, we're always selling ourselves in business, in our career, around our friends, or hopefully making new friends, and even in our relationship. We're always selling ourselves. So for you to be the best salesperson that you can be, what do you need in life? Certainty. Of course you need certainty. If you don't have certainty or self-confidence, how are you ever gonna sell yourself? How are you ever going to create your best life if you can't even sell yourself to the world? 
or to someone in your world right now. And then the fourth aspect that I want to cover in this video is function. And the function is about looking at your life as a whole machine, right? No one does anything on their own. There's always something else or someone else involved in your life. So if you look at your whole life, if you use this screen as a machine, or well, imagine the back of a watch. You take off the back of a watch and you see all these cogs, right? All these cogs or different parts of a, a machinery, a piece of machinery or different parts of a conveyor belt. They're all linked together. They're all linked together. Now that is your life. And that is you in your life, your friends in your life, your partners in your life, your surroundings, your habits, um, your car, your house. It's every single cog or piece of machinery that makes up your whole life. When looking at self-mastery and looking at function, you've got to remember that like a machine, like a set of cogs, like a conveyor belt, if one thing breaks down, what happens? What happens if one thing breaks down? The whole thing breaks down. So when looking to master your own life, it's all good saying, yeah, I've got everything going on inside. Boom, boom, boom. I feel amazing. I'm doing great things. You've got to be able to look at your whole life. You've got to be able to take a 360 look at your life and ask yourself, what else is here in my life right now that I need to fix, that I need to repair, that I need to replace before it breaks down? before it stops my momentum, before, before it takes me on out of my upward trajectory on my life, before it stops me from being who I want to be. You've always got to pay attention to that and take it very seriously. So to remind you, it's focus, fuel, fitness, and function. These four things, if I've paid attention to them and when I pay attention to them, and not only do I, not only do I get aware of what needs changing in my life, but I know what to change and I go and do it because that's where the value is. That's where the change and transformation lies in the doing, not in the noticing. You can't just notice that you need to change and change. No, you need to get into the doing. You need to get into action. But I'm able to look at these four areas, rate them from one to 10, one being the poorest, 10 being the highest, and ask myself, okay, right now in my life, where am I in fitness? Okay, I'm a five, I wanna be an eight. In nutrition, I'm a seven, I think I could be an eight. In my function, uh, there's some things I've gotta change. In my function, there's some things I've gotta let go of because there's certain parts of my conveyor belt or my, you know, the, the set of cogs in my life that I just know are gonna break down. I know at some point they're going to break down. Maybe it's a relationship for you. You know, you can't keep doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. If you want to get better, you have to make everything better around you or just do the very best that you can. So from the age of 23 years old up until the age of now 39 or 38, I forget to be honest with you. I just like living in the moment. I'm 38 or 39, that, that I'm sure of. I've been practicing the same things and I've got so many tools in my toolbox. I mean, I have to carry my coaching toolbox with two hands because I just have so many tools. But these are the four main pillars of high performance of living your best life. Now, if you break down those four pillars, I can break it down into 12 principles, 12 aspects of life that you can create as your own toolbox that when you use those 12 tools they will give you more energy in those four areas they'll give you better focus better fuel better fitness and a better overall function or functional efficiency in your life and i teach those 12 modules in something i call best life mba it's a coaching membership, it's a monthly subscription or a yearly subscription, whichever you choose. We have many people in there from around the world. They get coached by me every week. We have monthly fitness challenges. We have other classes like meditation and more and fitness classes. I run an abs class in there. But it's a closed community with coaching and me as the guide, me as the teacher, where people can continuously keep working on themselves in personal development, self-enrichment, self-improvement, and self-mastery. If that's your thing and you think, man, I'd like to be a part of a community like that, 
just go to bestlifemba.com. I don't know, does it say it somewhere here? No, there you go, Best Life MBA. Best Life MBA. Go to bestlifemba.com. But what I wanna give you right now is I wanna give you an opportunity to, for next to nothing, for next to nothing, I wanna give you an opportunity to, if you like this video, and you thought, man, or you're thinking, man, JP, I'd like to hear more about this. Can you go a little bit deeper? Can you go a bit deeper into self-mastery rather than just in a quick video? If, if you want to do that, on the 5th of September, I am running an online event on Zoom where I will be here in my office coaching you for six hours. Where it's a six hour event, there's a short lunch break in the middle, and the whole event is on self-mastery. And over this six hours, I will be going through each and every of the 12 tools that I have accumulated in my life and that I have given to my own students, my own clients, even my friends and family to allow them to start their own journey of self and life mastery. The link is already in this video. You can pay whatever you want. There's no set investment. You can literally pay one pound to join. I really wanted to make it as easy as possible for you to be able to get to this event so that you can continue to make this year better. The first year or the first half of the year was ruined, but that doesn't mean that the rest of your year has to be ruined. You know that saying, your what your past doesn't have to equal your future. And your future doesn't even have, have to equal your past. So if you'd like to spend a day with me on Zoom, face to face, where I can get to see you if you choose to have your video on, you want to ask me questions live from wherever you are in the world. We've had people from Australia, from the US attend, and they're checking in and they're watching the video or the, the Zoom uh, masterclass from the, their bed, from their living room when it's dark outside. If you want to join, go to the link and I'll see you on the 5th of September. It's called Self Mastery Masterclass, and that's exactly what it is, a masterclass in self-mastery. And what you'll get from that event is you will get clarity on where you are, clarity on where you wanna be, clarity of why you are not already there. Why am I not there already? And that awareness will give you something to act on. Like I said before, awareness isn't enough. You need to act, you need to get into motion, you need to get into movement. And you will get clarity where you are, clarity where you're going, clarity of why you're not there already, and you will get clarity on what your next move needs to be. I wish you a life of momentum. I wish you a life of progress. Nothing in life feels better than progress, whether it's progress in fitness, progress in relationships, progress in work. When we feel like we're moving forward, we feel happy. I just posted the other day on social media, where you find progress, you will find happiness. And that's what this day is about. It's about helping you get into progress or even catapult or amplify the progress that you're already taking. It's pay what you want, it's on Zoom, even if you can only make 10% of the event, if you can only make a few minutes of the event or you can only come for an hour in the beginning or an hour at the end, it doesn't matter because we send you the whole recording. So if you're watching this video, and you're thinking, man, I can't be there on the day, but I really wanna get the content that JP is gonna share, go to the link, register for the event, pay what you want, and even if you don't turn up on the day, you can turn up and come in and out, but even if you don't turn up at all, I'm still gonna send you the full recording of the event. So hopefully you take action from this video, whatever that's gonna be, and if the, if the action you decide to take is to join me on the 5th of September. I really, really look forward to seeing you there and helping you on your own journey of self-mastery so that you can continue to live your best life, whatever, whatever that is. Hopefully, on the day, I'll find out a bit more about you and what a best life means to you. I look forward to seeing you there. Peace and love. See you soon.